Sloth Bears Malursus ursinus, so called due to their slow-moving habits, are also known as the Indian Bear or Honey Bear. They are considered vulnerable by the ICUN, as humans encroach on their habitat, hunt them for their meat, and capture them to perform as pets. There are thought to be fewer than 20,000 individuals left in the wild. So, with a dwindling existence in India, could sloth bears survive in Africa? To answer this question, we need to consider the sloth bear's natural habitat, diet, and the environment in which it lives. Whilst a common predecessor of all bears is thought to have emerged in Asia 30 to 40 million years ago, sloth bears evolved within the Indian subcontinent during the Pleistocene. An intermediary species of bear, called Malursus theobaldi, is thought to have been the link between brown bears and sloth bears, which lived earlier during the Pliocene. Firstly, what do sloth bears look like? Sloth bears are medium-sized bears, ranging in weight from 50 to 150 kilograms, or 110 to 330 pounds. They have black, shaggy fur with a tan beige snout and a characteristic white bib on their chest. Their long fur forms a kind of mane, and their hairy ears protect them from biting insects on which they feed. They are well adapted to this kind of prey, and their nostrils can close completely to stop them from crawling in whilst feeding. They have the longest tail of any bear species, but their unique characteristic is the shape of their muzzle, with a lower lip that extends upwards and over its nose. The shape of its mouth allows it to suck up large numbers of insects. Typically, these are ants and termites and exhibits feeding behavior reminiscent of other mammalian insectivores. Their front paws are large, with long, curved claws that are used for digging into termite mounds and bees' nests to access the insects and honey. Where did sloth bears come from? The evolutionary history of bears is somewhat debated. The sloth bear is a member of the Ursini, a subfamily of bears that comprises six extant species. The polar bear, brown bear, American black bear, sun bear, Asiatic black bear, and the sloth bear. The origins of these bears can be traced back to the early Pliocene around 5 million years ago. But the evolutionary history of today's bears is a complex one. And even with our advanced genetic sequencing and DNA mapping techniques, there is debate about the relationships between bear species. Sometimes the sloth bear is considered a sister species to the sun bear. Other times it is not. It seems sloth bears evolved in India though and as well as living on the subcontinent, sloth bears also live in parts of Nepal, Bhutan, and Sri Lanka. There aren't any sloth bears living in Africa. Today, no species of bear are found on the African continent, but this wasn't always the case. Africa did once have its species of bear. Between 11 and a half and two and a half million years ago, the continent was home to the Agriotherium africanum. This was a large bear that fed mostly on plant material, but was likely omnivorous, like many of today's bears. The bear stood at 2 meters or 7 feet tall on its hind legs and weighed up to 750 kilograms or 1,650 pounds. It is the only bear known to have colonized sub-Saharan Africa. North of the Sahara was another species of bear called the Atlas bear, and as the name suggests, it roamed the Atlas Mountains in North Africa. They were a much more recent species of African bear than the Agriotherium. Overhunting led to its extinction in the late 1800s. Since the time of Agriotherium, the climate on the African continent has changed. The environment and ecology found there nowadays are different, and sloth bears would live in a different niche than that of this prehistoric bear. What is considered a sloth bear habitat? And can we find these in Africa? Sloth bears occupy a range of habitats, such as tropical forests, scrublands, savannas, and grasslands. Today, much of western and central Africa is covered in tropical forests. These include both moist and dry tropical forests and encompasses an area more than 3.6 million square kilometers. They comprise 18% of the world's tropical forests, which could provide potential habitat for sloth bears. Furthermore, almost half of Africa is covered in savanna, with a total area of 13 million square kilometers. These open grasslands could also be considered habitat for the sloth bear. They prefer habitats with boulders and shrubs that can provide cover for them. Sloth bears would likely find enough habitat to survive in Africa. But what about their diet? Sloth bears primarily feed on insects, but also consume fruit. 
They are nocturnal foragers, much like Africa's aardvark. This nocturnal mammal uses its long tongue to extract termites from nests and uses its claws to break them open. They live in burrows on the African savanna, sleeping for much of the day. Sloth bears would occupy a very similar niche to aardvarks, although the bears would spend much of the day in caves rather than underground, and they can be found resting in trees during the heat of the day. Other potential competitors for food in Africa include a variety of reptiles and the aardwolf. This hyena-like mammal can consume as many as 300,000 termites in a single night. Its nocturnal habits during the summer are similar to those of the aardvark. They feed during the day to conserve heat at night, curled up in their burrows. Unlike aardvarks and sloth bears, they are careful not to destroy a termite mound or devour the entire colony so that the termites can rebuild and repopulate, ensuring a continuous supply of food for the aardwolf. In Africa, there are plenty of termites and ants for sloth bears to feast on. There is also a wide variety of fruit. In India, sloth bears eat mangoes and figs. Both of these are abundant throughout Africa. So, in terms of food, it seems that there would be plenty for sloth bears to eat if they lived in Africa. However, sloth bears would compete with aardvarks and aardwolves on Africa's open grasslands. They could prove disastrous for aardwolves as the bears are known to demolish termite mounds, using their powerful claws and paws to break them open. The careful nature of the aardwolf may not be able to compete. Does Africa have the right sort of climate for sloth bears to survive? Unlike other species like black bears and brown bears, the sloth bear doesn't hibernate due to the warm climate in which it lives. But in the wild, they usually have a period of inactivity during the rainy season. This behavior would serve them well in the African bush. Although nighttime temperatures can plummet, there aren't long winter seasons as there are in other places in the world. There are a variety of climates across Africa that are similar to those found in the Indian subcontinent. The climate of Central Africa, for example, is very similar to that of India, lying within the tropics and subtropics. Central Africa has an average annual temperature of 20 to 32 degrees Celsius, or 68 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit which is the same average temperatures found within India. Rainfall is slightly higher in Central Africa than the whole of India, and humidity is greater. Even so, it seems the climate of the two regions is comparable, making parts of Africa, like the Central region, hospitable for sloth bears. Would sloth bears be predated by any animals in Africa? Often, tigers avoid sloth bears, as their long, sharp claws can inflict serious injuries. Sloth bear mothers usually stand their ground and will charge at a tiger if it's under threat. It may also carry its cubs up trees to avoid attacks. Some tigers hide near termite mounds, waiting for sloth bears to come along. They will then pounce on their unsuspecting prey from behind, therefore avoiding the risk of injury from the bear. In Africa, sloth bears may fall prey to the likes of lions, hyenas, jackals, and leopards. They would have to adapt their predator avoidance tactics. In India, they are responsive to the warning calls of samba deer, which alert them to the presence of tigers. In Africa, vervet monkeys are known to produce different alarm calls, depending on the nature of the threat. These can be aerial threats, such as those from eagles, tree-dwelling threats, such as those from snakes, or threats from the ground, like those from leopards. Based on habitat, climate, and food available, we believe that sloth bears could survive in certain parts of Africa they would likely have a significant impact on the ecosystem that already exists there. They may compete with the aardvark and the aardwolves for food, and would be considered prey for several African predatory species. If living in Africa, they may still come under similar pressures that threaten their species in India, such as the encroachment of human growth on wild habitats. That's all for today! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.